so today we are going to understand the gilbert test for the conductivity before that we have already covered the decomposition of the canonical form and we already have to cover the different canonical form including the diagonal canonical form as well the jordan jordan canonical form and that is the more important for the gilbert test for the conductivity we also understand what is the meaning of conductivity the conductivity means the input can be steered okay the input can steer the, the state can be moved from one point to another point from in a fixed time with the help of you can say the input okay so in this picture there are there are two pictures represented here figure one and figure two so anyone can tell me what is the difference you are founding between the one and two what are the difference you are observing in figure one and figure two anyone Problem number fifty three, Mulayam. Okay. Is my PPT visible to all of you? Is my PPT visible? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. So please confirm. What is the difference? Anyone can you tell me? No. Sir, sir, second figure me U of T uh, to the first K one body side me. It means in the second picture you can say that. U T is not able to govern or the steer the state x one. If we let's say this is the x one, then it is the x one dot. Yes or no? Yes or no? In similar way, yes, this is x two, then it is x two dot. Right? This is x three dot. This is the x three. So in similar way, you can say that this the input U T is not able to steer the x one. Now in the case here. The x one, x two, x three, x one, x two, x three, x three dot, x two dot, and x one dot are able to steer the. You can say the input can steer this, or input can govern this state of x one, x two, x three in the figure one. Okay, now you are just watching here the I am I have written the state model. You can say. So the state model can be represented like this one. For the figure one, you can write here one one one. Yes or no? Yes or no? X one, X two, X three. This is the minus lambda one, minus lambda two, minus lambda three. We already have seen these things in the diagonal canonical form. The representation. Just I have written x one dot is equals to x one, x two dot, x three dot is equals to minus lambda one zero zero, zero minus lambda two zero, zero zero minus lambda three, x one, x two, x three. And the input one one one, all these things are the one one one. Yes or no? This yes. input has the one one one, and therefore we can say here the. So what is what we can return for the second case? The state space. How the state space can be return? Anyone can tell me. Anyone? What is the difference? The the for the x one for the first state the input should be the zero. Yes or no? So yes, sir. So here, so in the in the in the second second state equation, you can see here the x one dot x two dot x three dot is equals to minus lambda one zero 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 minus lambda two zero 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 minus lambda three x one x two x three. Where the first this 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 is the zero. However, this and this is the one one. So you can now conclude or you can your observation you can made some observation. So you can see here. From figure one, the state model of the system in diagonal canonical form. Add some in equation number one. This is equation number one. Okay, this is equation number one. Okay, the equation number one. This represents a controllable system. Why it is controllable system? Why it is a controllable system? Sir, because you of control state can control it. Yes, it is a controllable system because the All the input, the input can steer the or govern the your state, all the, all the state. Okay. However, in the case of figure two, the system is not controllable, or you can say the system is uncontrollable. Am I right? Is it clear? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Now you yes. can say also the comparing equation number one and two. So by the by the equation. Now, if the if the if the state diagram is not available, by only you have to comment by the help of you know the state equation. So what will you comment? 
how you can what is the observation the observation is comparing equation number 1 and 2 you can say that it can be observed that for a system to be controllable if the input matrix in a diagonal canonical form should not have any zero elements yes or no yes sir should not have any zero elements if here, here you can say here you can see the 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 equation it is the input matrix the input matrix don't have any zero mat, zero element if this is a zero element, you can say that the system is uncontrollable, right? So you can make the such type of observation based on the your theory. Okay. Now come to the transformation form. You already have learned how the system, how the state model is transformed. Let's say we have a state model x dot is equals to x plus b u. Now I am transforming x is equals to by putting the p z. Okay. So what is the x dot? X dot is equals becomes p z dot. Am I right? x dot becomes p z dot. Is it clear? Now put this value x dot is equals to becomes p z dot a x. What is the x value? x is equals to p z. x is equals to p z b u. Now this p take this p from right hand side. This p is this p becomes p inverse. So p inverse a p into z plus p inverse into b. Is it clear? So now the transformed equation is z, z dot is equals to p inverse a p okay into b plus p inverse b u it is very very important okay so now we have to see the element of the p inverse b matrix right p inverse b matrix why I am transforming because sometime we will got the uh, state equation not in the form of diagonal mechanical form and you know that this form is this form is this form is transformed into the diagonal mechanical form yes or no p inverse ap represent the diagonal mechanical form so therefore i am i am saying the system is completely controllable if and only if any row of the matrix p inverse b is not with all zero elements am i right P inverse B should yes. not contain the zero element, right? Consider a system with repeated. Now this is the case. Yahan tak ek part hoga. This is the first part. This is the first part of your case. Now coming when the let's say we have the repeated eigen value. So how the repeated eigen value? What is the controllability criteria for the repeated eigen value? You can understand from the figure. Okay, we have a system such as or you can say the system with a repeated eigen value the system can be transformed into the jordan canonical form okay you know if the, if the repeated eigen value is there then only the diagonal canonical form is the special case converted into the jordan canonical form or that jordan canonical form let's say we have it, we just take an example of the third order system for with the two repeated eigen values two repeated eigen value i have taken let's say so you can see here the x1 x2 x3 dot this is the x2 dot sorry x1 dot and this is x1 dot is equals to x2 and this is x2 dot so you can see here this is the picture for the i repeated eigenvalue you already have seen in the jagged dot on right yes or no yes or no yes. so in the yes, current canonical form we have already seen this type of the picture so what will you observe what is your observation about the controllability? Anyone can tell me. When you write the state equation, then you you can you will, you will found you will found that the x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot is equals to such type of equation will come and x1 you see x1 x1 ko ut direct govern nahi kar raha hai. The state x1 is not governed by ut directly. Yes or no? It is indirectly governed by X2. Therefore, we are saying it is not completely controllable. It can be observed that if X1 is not linked with the input, okay, UT, okay, X1 is not controllable and hence the system is not completely controllable. Am I right? Yes or no? So, you can comment like this from equation number four 
it can be concluded that for a system to be completely controllable system to be completely controllable the row in the input matrix the row in the input matrix corresponding to the last row of the jordan block should not have all zero elements is it clear so what will be the summary what will be the summary or you can say conclusion the conclusion is now a system LTI system is said to be completely controllable if and only if any row P inverse B matrix does not have all zero elements in the case of distinct eigenvalue. The row of P inverse B matrix that correspond to last of last row of the Jordan in the P inverse AP matrix does not have all zero elements and all other rows corresponding to other eigenvalues do not have all zero elements in case of repeated eigenvalue. So this test of the controllability is known as the Gilbert test. Now, I am giving one example so that you can understand the problem far better. I hope you understand. Uh, now, I am just taking one example. Let's say a, a state model. Uh, a state model. A state model of plant. is let's say x dot is equals to 0 1 minus 2 minus 3 x plus 1 1 u y is equals to 2 1 check whether the system is controllable or not comment on their comment controllability anyone can tell me how what how we proceed? What do you want to do? Mulayam? MS Yadav? What do you have to do? Please tell me. Sir, x equal to pz. Yes, very good. First, we have to convert this into the diagonal form. Because it is a not the equation is not in the dimension curve. Or the Gilbert test. For the Gilbert test, first we have to transform the equation into the diagonal chemical form. And for the diagonal chemical form, we have the P inverse AP. So how the P, what is the P? Anyone can tell me what is the P? Eigenvectors. Eigenvectors. Very, nice. Very nice. So first of all, you know that A, A is given 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3. Right, and lambda i minus a equals to lambda i minus a equals to uh, you can say the lambda minus 1, 2 plus lambda plus 3 and is equals to 0. So, lambda square plus 3 lambda plus 2 equal to 0. And lambda, sorry, lambda square, then lambda 1 becomes minus 1, and lambda 1 becomes minus 1, and lambda 2 becomes minus 2. So find the eigenvalue for the lambda 1 and for the lambda 2. Okay, so for lambda for lambda 1 it equals to minus 1 the eigenvalue how we calculate it please tell me this is the lambda so lambda minus 1 okay this is minus 1 okay and this is 2 and lambda is equals to minus 1 then become please tell me lambda 2 yes or no yes sir so and this is x well, y this is x this is y equal to 0. So the x minus x minus y equal to 0. Okay. So x is equal to you can say minus of y. Okay. Or you can say the x of minus 1 equal to y by 1. So it means your first 
is a minus 1 and 1 right so the first and the first column minus 1 and 1 in for the similar way for the similar way you can calculate for the for lambda 2 is equals to of minus 2 okay lambda 2 is equals to minus 2 so you can calculate yes or no so it will come minus 2 minus 1 2 and 1 and this is the x y equal to 0 equal to 0 then anyone can tell me what will be the eigenvector for this corresponding to this this is the minus 2 x minus y is equal to 0 is equal to 0 and it represents x upon minus 1 is equal to y upon 2 and then it is a minus 1 and 2 okay or also you can say this is the p now okay or you can also say the p now becomes 1 and minus 1 okay 1 and minus 1 and 1 and minus 2 you can also say that like this also right so okay so now please check p is equals to whatever we have said this value minus 1 minus 1 1 and 2 okay 1 and 2 and 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 both are the same okay both are the same and when you calculate the determinant of this matrix determinant of this matrix then you will got minus 1 okay so now what is the p inverse for the p inverse what is the p inverse p inverse mein kya karenge hum log isko aap sign change karte hain 2 1 okay minus 1 minus 1 adjoint of it divided by determinant of it right usse p inverse nikal liya then what will the p inverse p you required p inverse p also okay so p inverse p means kya ho jayega p inverse p p matrix ko when we multiply with the p inverse automatically it will give i die yes I I. yes very good 1 0 0 1 right and what about the what about the you know p inverse a p p inverse ap you can calculate when you calculate you will got p inverse ap kya hona chahiye anyone can tell me diagonal matrix diagonal matrix diagonal matrix mein kya hona chahiye diagonal matrix 0 0 minus 2 yes that is the lambda that is the eigen value yes or no eigen value yes. so 0 minus 0 minus 2 automatically it will come okay and the p inverse b what you have to check you have to check the element of the p inverse b yes or no First of yes. all, you have to check the P inverse AP is coming, uh, the diagonal element is coming not, that diagonal is coming not, and then you have to check the P inverse B. And in the P inverse B, in the P inverse B, matrix when you calculate, it will comes like, it will comes like 3 and minus 2. 3 and minus 2. Okay, 3 and minus 2. So this is the case. So how what you observe? You, you can say that the P inverse B, the P inverse B contains kya hai? the P inverse P inverse B contains, please tell me, contains all non zero terms. Non zero. Non -zero. Yes or no? On non-zero elements, and therefore, and therefore, the system is. Please tell me. Tell me the system is controllable. completely controllable. Completely controllable. Okay, right? Understand? Any problem? Any problem in Gilbert? No.